Hi friends, so this video shows how to install and run PostgreSQL Server. So first I am going to execute emlist PostgreSQL Server. So you can see that PostgreSQL Server 10.6 is available in em repo. So if you want to install a PostgreSQL Server 10.6, you can just run em install PostgreSQL iPhone Server. So it will install uh, PostgreSQL Server 10.6. So let me cancel it. So if you want to install the latest version, for example, right now the latest version is 12, PostgreSQL Server 12. So if you want to install that, we need to do different step. So first we need to add uh, PostgreSQL uh, uh, M repo like this m install uh, then this url so i will post this url in the description you can copy from there type y and press enter okay done so after that just run m update you can see it's updating postgresql common rpms See, PostgreSQL 12 for RHA, RHL or CentOS 8 for PostgreSQL 11, 10, 9.6, 9.5. So it's adding those repos. So now we have options, this many options. You can install 9, 9.6, 10, 11, or 12. Just type Y. Okay, just cancel it. So I don't need to install this Node.js. Just clear the screen. After that, if you do uh, m list for space your server again, so let me check what it show. Still, it's showing ten. So we need to disable that. So at this point, it should show different version, right? So actually, I think we need to specified tool like this or list this post sql tool so let me disable uh, default post sql built in module so i am not going to use that so i disable it after that, let me check uh, M list. It's not showing anything. Okay. Now let me try this. See, it's not showing. Post SQL tool. You can see here. It will also it will show, I think. It will also there. There are also there. Okay. Now you can directly install. For example, you can install like this m install postgresql tool hyper server see so this command will install postgresql tool server tool libs okay total 7.1 mb files type y and press enter you can see now it started downloading Okay, instruction completed. So after that, we need to initialize the repo. So here, instruction path is uh, here. Yours are PSQL, PGSQL, tool, bin. So inside bin you can see PostgreSQL SQL binaries. So here we need to run this uh, USR PGSQL bin uh, this setup post PostgreSQL init db. So we need to run this. You can see it's initializing the DB. Okay, done.
So let me check the uh, status of PostgreSQL service. PostgreSQL store. So it's loaded but not active, it's inactive. So we need to start it. Okay, I started it. Let me check the status again. So now we can see it's active and running. So if you don't want to this do this the start every time when you reboot the system, you can enable it like this. Enable. So after that, when you reboot the system, it will automatically start the service. So you don't need to do this command. Start system switch is start. Okay. Then let me. So let me try to open Postgres console. So let me switch to Postgres Postgres uh, user, then run PSQL. So you can see. So now I am in uh, Postgres PSQL shell. So here you can execute the queries. You can create the DB from here. You can create tables. You can try the SQL queries here. So this way we can install Postgres SQL. So let me quit. Sit.